if you weren't able to do anything last week, then that's totally fine. Um, still try and make it a goal, even though it's like not for, you know, points or anything right this second, it's honestly just going to help your business. And I know like sometimes it's hard to get out of the house or we're, you know, we might not be out, but when you are like, maybe bring it with you or take a look at it before you go and say, who can we talk to today? Who can I connect with today? Who um, can I tell about what I got going on today? That's really the whole point was to get out of your comfort zone and just start talking to people about what we do. Um, so this week we're focusing on TikTok. I had another thing I was going to do this week, but I wanted to go a lot I'm going to explain it and how to do it first. And I was on vacation. I just didn't have time to do that. So I'm going to do that next week. But this week we already had started with doing some TikToks. Amanda was awesome for Sunday to share with us like a motivate, uh, self-care was it Saturday or Sunday. I forget what day it was. One of those days. <laughs> oh, Saturday. And, um, she encouraged us to do a TikTok with that. So I was like, okay, let's just do the TikTok ones or reels, whatever you want to call them. They're basically the same thing. Um, so each day this week, we'll have like a topic for the reel. Um, today was Motivation Monday. So hopefully you did something like super simple. Like it does not have to be complicated at all. I promise like you could just film yourself talking or you could put a quote and put music next to it. Like, um, you know, like a quote with a background. Oh, my mom's calling. Sorry, mom, I can't talk. Um, you can do... Um, you know, just maybe a video of your backyard or somewhere peaceful. I don't know, maybe a video you already have from vacation, whatever, like make it super simple. But the point is like, let's just get in the habit of doing them. And so I want us to get in the habit of doing one a day. And so if I can keep it as simple as possible, I feel like it'd be more doable for people to actually do them. So that's what we're doing this week in Darnell. It was awesome to help you guys plan what your week. And so I'm just going based off of what she had for like the topics each day of the week. And so that's just what um, it's going to be, um, but just make a reel with that topic. Okay. So today I want to talk about the introduction. Like a lot of people who haven't heard that cycle of sales are like, what in the world does an introduction mean? So last week we talked about um, getting pre-approach about people, like learning their background, getting more information on who they are. Maybe that's Facebook stalking them a little bit. Maybe that's checking out their TikTok a little bit. Like who are they about? Like what's, you might already know them from like high school or in the past, but maybe you don't. Like some, a lot of people nowadays, I feel like we get a lot of strangers, especially with, with like TikTok and reels, we get a lot of people we don't know. So if we can find a way to get information about them, that's like the pre-approach um, and then approaching, you know, that's what the, the point of a scavenger hunt was to go and practice how to approach people. So how do we go out and talk to people? How can we start that conversation in messenger? How can we start it in person? However, we start a conversation that's approach. And so now that you've learned about them, you start talking to them a little bit, how can you guide a conversation to get it to where you want it to be? So that's what this is called the introduction. You're kind of introducing them to the products, to the company, to the business, to you, maybe to um, who Ariel or Chris and Travis are. So you like, you're introducing them to what we have going on. And so in the introduction, what you really want to do is you want to be in control of the conversation. Like you want to be the one guiding where the conversation is going, because if you can ask the right questions, you're going to get people to a yes. Yeses are great. And honestly, even no's are great. It's just kind of those maybes in between. Those are like the tough ones, right? Where people leave you on red, but they don't respond or they're like, oh, let me think about it. Or like they kind of just like give you that procrastination objection. You're just like, ah. So if you can ask some questions and guide a conversation, you can try and help avoid a maybe or you can help avoid an objection. So next week, I'm gonna go over what are some objections that people give us, maybe money, spouse, whatever. But right now, I wanna talk about the introduction. How can you avoid getting one of those objections later on by asking the right questions now? And so, um, you know, with what we do, we have paths, right? We've got like the gummy gang path, we've got the beauty path, we've got, um, the uh, health, oh gosh, y'all remind me of all the past. There's like five of them. Um, but what do we basically help people with, right? We help them with their mental health. We help them with their physical health. We, um, you know, help with energy. We help with sleep. Those are kind of the main things I think we do. Mainly, I feel, really feel like, oh, the head path, that's right. Um, we mainly help them with, I feel like a lot is just energy, weight loss, and mental health. Like that's kind of what I talk to people about the most. And so those are kind of the questions that I like, 
try to ask to gear my conversation to like, okay, what am I going to suggest to people? Cause we have so many amazing products and sometimes we get confused. We're like, ah, they have this. So what do I suggest? You know? And so if you ask them questions, maybe they're going to help you get to where, yes, the detox could help. Thank you. <laughs> where, what we need to offer to them. Right. And so, um, here we're finding the pain point and we're helping them realize what the pain point is. And we're building a value on what we have more than just a cost. And so um, one thing that I really like to ask as far as questions is, you know, they'll ask me, what are you doing? Or what is it? Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you haven't heard about it yet. I'm so glad you saw it on my page. It's actually, we are a health and wellness. I actually say a mental health, wellness, and beauty company. And what we do is we help people heal the body naturally. Um, I love it because it's helped me have more patience with my kids. I'm not crying in the closet as much like I used to. I'm a happier person and I have energy all day. What are some goals that you're working on? And so when I have a conversation, I like to end it in a question and an open-ended question. So that way they start talking and, um, I let them explain it to me. And when I ask, so what are some goals that you're working on? People will be like, Oh my gosh, like I honestly, you know, they might tell you weight loss. They were like, I really want to lose like 20 pounds by December because I have a wedding, or it's summertime and I want to feel better in a bathing suit. Or, you know, they're like, I'm just so exhausted. Like, I just really, really want more energy. And I'm trying to find something that helps me have energy. Or, um, you know, they're like, oh, my body hurts so bad. Like, I have got arthritis or I got fibromyalgia or um, whatever it might be that they start telling you. You're like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so sorry. Like, that totally sucks. I can, I do a thing I call a feel felt found. I totally know how you feel. I have felt the same way, feel felt. And what I found is these products have totally helped me have a 360. So I totally know how you feel. I actually have felt the same way. Maybe you have it. And so you don't use a feel felt found, but like maybe you use a story. Like if someone who has arthritis and their body hurts, I don't have experience with that, but my dad does. I'm like, oh my gosh, girl. Like I totally know how you feel. My dad felt the same way. He has arthritis in his ankle. He's had ankle surgery twice. It's gone bad. Um, he's in so much pain all day, but what he's found is these products are helping him just live a better quality of life. He uses our dab cream on his ankle to help heal from the outside. And he uses our tinctures to help heal from the inside. Is that something that you'd want to know more about? Like I start asking those questions at the end, right? Like, is that something you want to know about? Yeah. Tell me more. Like, cause this is what's going on with me. And they start sharing with you. And so the feel felt found method really, really helps you to kind of level with them and then explain like how your products are helping without being like, you must buy this, you know, like buy our beautiful drops, right? So feel felt found is a very helpful tool. Um, but you can start asking questions about like, uh, well, girl, like I see you have a two-year-old and a four-year-old just like me. You've got to be like me. Do you need more energy all day too? Like the, do you need question is really good. Do you, do you need more sleep at night <laughs> because your baby's up all night? Um, do you need to feel less pain in your body because of your accident? Like, do you need question is really good. I have a list of some of these questions that I can um, put in our, our group, our Facebook group. Um, you can ask the question, would it help if, would it help if I told you about something that could help you detox the gut and get rid of the bad stuff and help you start absorbing the good stuff? So would it help if, would it help if I told you about something that um, could help you focus all day long and not be squirrel brain like most of us, you know? Um, another question is, would it be important to, would it be important to you if you had the, um, happiness all day and you're not worried so as much, like you told me that you are, you know, would it be important to you if you, um, you know, weren't laying in bed all day? Um, you know, cause once they start opening up to you and they're going to start explaining and once you start saying the things that they've told you already, like if some girl's like, or, well, I don't know I say girl, it could be a guy, anybody, you know, they're like, I've been in bed all month. Like, I really just don't want to get to bed. I want to talk to people. I'm just not feeling it. Like I, my, my depression is really bad. You know, you can start asking questions like, Hey girl, like, would it be important to you if you got out of bed? Like if you were talking to people again, if you were out enjoying the sunshine, most of the time they're going to say, yeah, that would be important to me. Cool. Well, I'm so glad that we start talking because I actually have something that I think that could totally, you could benefit from. And this is also where I kind of get into an if then. So 
here's another little formula, I guess. And if then, so if I told you about something that could help you get out of bed, that would make you feel better, you'd put a smile back on your face, you're not crying anymore. Would that be something that you'd want to look more into? I can share some more information with you about. And if they say yes, it'd be like, cool. Then I'm going to add you to a really fun Facebook group called A Glance of the Gummy Gang. And you can see more information about the products. You can see more about the team that we're on. Um, so that um, if then little uh, formula is really helpful to like, if I told you um, about something that would help you like just have less pain in your ankle all day, maybe not completely take it away, but like maybe about 75% of it would be gone. Would that be something that you want me to share more with you about? And if they say, oh, hell yeah, like, cool. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect you. Like, I don't connect people with my dad. He's too much for people. But if I had someone else, you know, like maybe Amanda, right. Who had pain in her shoulder and the blueberry kush helped her. Like if I can help you find something that will help your, your shoulder, like, would that be something you'd want to know more about? Yeah. Cool. Then I'm going to actually put you in a three-way chat with my friend, Amanda. She has more experience with that. She's the one who these products have helped her and she can help explain it to you more. Or if it's someone, you know, with PCOS, maybe connect them with someone with PCOS. Or if it was a mom of a two-year-old and a four-year-old, connect them with me. You know, if it's a teacher who needs energy all day, like if you could have energy all day to keep up with your third graders, like would that be something that you'd want me to tell you more about? Well, yeah, obviously. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to actually put you in a chat with my friend Stephanie. She's a teacher too, and she can help me explain like how it helps her or a nurse, whatever it is, you know? And that's why it's good to know about them and what they do because you already can start thinking about the pain points. So some of those questions are really good. Like just um, the if then questions, um, would it be useful if, would it be useful if you found something that um, your, that, would it be useful if you found something that helped you focus all day? I like to voice put people so that it doesn't look like it's like, kind of rude in a text, you know, like, especially talking about people with like their issues going on. It's kind of hard. That's why I like voice clipping. I'm like, well, girl, would it be useful if I found something for you that could help you focus all day? And if they say yes, they're like, okay, cool. Well, I have something that's called wise. And then I send them the information sheet about it. And like, this stuff is amazing. Like it, it helps you like get focused right away in the morning and it helps you throughout the day, you know? Um, another good question is, do you see value in because now when you're bringing up value, like, do you see value in finding a natural supplement that helps you with energy all day? And if they say, yes, they see value in it. They're already telling themselves that it's not a, a cost situation. It's a value situation. And another thing is if you start asking these questions in a series and you get them to say, yes, yes, yes. We call it the three yeses. Then they're more likely to say yes to ordering or to joining, you know, I'll tell you about the business side in a second, but like, if you're like, um, girl, are you a tired mom like me? Yes. Cool. Uh, could you use more energy? Yes. Great. Could you benefit from some natural products that help with energy? Yes. Great. Let me tell you about them. Boom. Here's unicorn drops, you know? So if you like, if they're already in the habit of like, yes, 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 yes. They're going to keep saying yes. It's kind of hard for their mind to just throw in a no because they've already said yes, like three times. So um, that yes philosophy is very helpful too. Um, let's see, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you can use this for the business as well. Like um, I know I've used a lot of examples for products, but it's like you, in knowing about them is important. Like, do they have a job? Are they stay-at-home moms that wanna help their husbands out financially? Do they wanna just be able to have a, cu a extra cushion to go get their nails done or get a massage or, you know, take their family on vacation and pay for it. And if they want that, you know, you can start asking questions like, would it be important to you if you had like a little extra spending money? So that way you can kind of do some extra stuff that you want to do. And if they say, yes, awesome. Like, what if I showed you a way where you can join a really fun, awesome group of girls and make some side cash? Okay, cool. Yeah. Tell me more. Or you can ask, you know, would it help if you had a couple extra hundred bucks a month? Well, everybody now is going to say yes to that, right? Like, hell yeah, gas is expensive, people, and so are groceries. Um, you know, uh, you can ask these questions for the business side too. Like, 
um, do you see value in having a really good support group of ladies around you? And if you're like, yeah, hell yeah, it's valuable. I don't have any friends. You know, that was me. I felt like before network marketing, I felt like I had no friends. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I see value in having a group of positive, supportive people. Okay. So I'm talking a lot on this. So I think we get the gist of like asking some questions and helping guide the conversation. Right. And they might start asking you more questions too. Now that you're asking them and they're opening up to you. Um, really that's the point is we want to just get them to open up. So that way we can help guide the conversation to get them to where we want it to be. Um, yes, girl, I know so much value in this community. And even if they say yes, like, okay, if I told you about a group of ladies that are like really fun and super supportive, is that something you'd want to like learn more about? And I'm saying, if they say yes, like, cool, then I'm going to add you to a really fun Facebook group. It's called a glance of the gummy gang. And you're going to see how awesome we are, you know? And I always like add them to our group so they can see more of us and they see power in numbers. So that's the introduction. That's like asking those questions, digging deep. I mean, you can ask more personal questions too. Um, I just didn't really think of any on hand, like, cause our libido gummies I know are pretty popular. You know, if you could find something that helped in enhance you in the bedroom, would that be something you want to know more about? <laughs> oh, sure. Okay, girl. Well, let me tell you about our libido gummies. Um, so the questions are important. Um, Brittany, I don't see her on, which I don't, she's going to be like, oh my God, I totally forgot. She's at a church function. She told me she's going to on, but... I don't see her. So I'm just going to actually Darnell, I know you weren't prepared for this, but I don't know if you care to talk about presenting the products. Like how do you, how do you go about explaining them to the people you're talking to? Okay. That's a good question. Well, as I, I just literally was making like a video for my stories because I took one of these hurricanes and I'm wearing my watermelon sugar high shirt. So I was like, I got to do the whole thing. But like, I do basic stuff like this. I make a TikTok like this and it's got watermelon sugar high in the back and like people start talking to me. But when like today I went live on my personal page on Facebook and I opened my box. So I opened my box with my scratchers because if you're getting scratchers and you're not going live and you're not doing the hashtag Ariel games, hey, you're missing out because you could win. You know, you could be somebody that wins even if your scratch up doesn't win. So do it. But I went live and I just started talking about each product. So I took like the, the vibe high out and I was like, these little pink beauties saved my life. Like they did. I used to be somebody that was overwhelmed about every single thing that was going on in her life. I used to be somebody that, you know, couldn't get through a to-do list. I used to be somebody that um, cried in her car every time she had to go pick up her kids. Like I was really on the struggle bus and I just tell more about how I was struggling more than like, I don't name what it was. I mean, obviously I was depressed. Obviously I was going through, I was having real like panic attacks, but I don't say any of that stuff. I just say, I don't get those overwhelming feelings anymore. I don't get those feelings like, like, you know, that like the weight of the world is on my shoulders and I can't handle any of these issues. I don't feel like that anymore. I think that's kind of a, a good way for that. I describe that I described um, like vibe high. And then like these, these watermelon sugars, when people are like, what do they do? I'm like, they give you all the euphoric good feels that you want when you, when you do one of these, but they don't give you any of that paranoia. They don't give you any of that, like crazy, like, oh my gosh, I got to go to the hospital. Like, you know, like my heart's going to pump out of my chest, like feelings. And people giggle when I say they don't make your like heart want to like pound out of your chest because a lot of people can resonate with that. Cause there's a lot of people that have a problem like with regular like marijuana, they really just can't handle it because it gives them real paranoia and people stay away from it. And I think they're scared of cannabis because of it a little bit. So that's a good way to like describe this. Um, I don't know, what else do you want me to talk about, Kristen? Like, um, well, I was just say like when you're describing them, like you can keep it super simple. Like yeah. you don't have to go in a major detail. You don't have to know every nutrient and all its functions and everything it does. Like just like an overall view. And honestly, those little, like, I don't know what they're called. The graphics that have all the information about each one on them. Like I send them that and I read yeah. from that. Yeah. Like, and now that I've like the used the products and I know like I can explain it, but um, I just want Kristen and I are very easily sold on a feeling and that's like, and, and, and you can sell, you could sell Kristen and I a feeling and we'd be like, yeah, I'm in to try that. Absolutely. 
but not everybody's as like willing to try something as, as we may be. So you have to sometimes just get a little bit more into your story and like the actual ways you were feeling, because you can say depression, but that means a lot of things, you know, and that could mean so many different things on so many different levels for so many different people. But when you say like, I was struggling to get out of bed in the morning, like I didn't shower for five days in a row. Like my kids, I was not showing up for my kids. Like saying things like that, that really hits people, I think a little bit more like in their heart center because yeah, okay, everybody's depressed at some point or another. We all go through it. Everybody has shitty times. Everybody like goes through things, you know? But like, you just have to be, oh my gosh. Did this sign us all out? No, we're here. Okay, it just said it like signed out and I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? No, <laughs> <laughs> I was on a roll, oh my gosh. Um, no, but I think that when you speak from like the ways that like this situation made you feel, people resonate more with that than you just being like, oh yeah, I have anxiety. Yeah, so we all have anxiety, but how does your anxiety like make you feel? How does it like describe that? And when we say describe it, not name it, I know it seems silly when we say that, but like really think about how you were feeling. And if you're not able to like really think about how you were feeling, maybe you want to think about changing your products, maybe talking to one of us about like, maybe you should be on something different that you're not on. If you're really still struggling and you've been on these a while, I, I do believe there's a product for everybody. I a hundred percent I mean, even if it's like you resonate with someone's dog, okay. Because people love their animals. You could sell an product to anybody for their animals. That's like something else, right? Like everybody loves their animals. So they'll be like, Oh yeah, I'll, I'll spend a hundred dollars to make sure my pet's happy. Sure. It's crazy. You know? So like res tell, tell a story about your dog. <laughs> like, really? It's as simple as that. Yeah. And like, you might even, as you're like asking those questions and stuff and people might even bring stuff up about their dogs. Like, Oh, well, if you have something that helps with me and my anxiety, like, do you guys have something that helps with pets? Like that is a huge thing. I'm like, absolutely we do. Like, and I send those like graphic sheets of the information and, um, and, and this is like where you're connecting those pain points and you're, this is kind of like where you're selling. You're like, okay, well, here's your problem. I have a solution. And that's kind of what we do is we problem solve, right? We just find solutions to people's problems. You ask the question to figure out what the problems are. And now I'm like, cool. Well, now that you told me that you can't get out of bed for five days, I have something that's helped my friend, you know, not want to take her life. And she's here on this earth because like that and good friends too. Um, let me tell you about it. And, um, you know, that's where I just want you all to know, like, if they start asking questions about nutrients and things, like Brittany was going to tell you, she's like, I just Google it. She's like, honestly, I, I don't really know. I just go to Google and I just start finding stuff on Google. And then I'll just read from Google, like straight from Google and be like, Hey, well, this is what I found, you know? Um, and confidence is key, I think. And like, even if you don't know, like confidently be like, well, I'm going to find the answer for you. Like, I actually am not sure like silica, for example, you know, like someone had asked her a question about silica and she's like, and they're like, aren't those the little gels that are in those packets that are in like shoes or whatever? I don't know what they come in. And she's like, um, I don't think they're the same. Cause I don't think we'd be eating those, but let me, let me look it up. I'm going to find it for you. Like, let me find out. And she's like, okay, well, this is what Google said. And so this is silica for our body and this is silica for that. And then she just started reading off of Google, you know, and that's kind of like a self-initiator, like a self problem solver skill. Um, and like some of us, like is, it's a learned skill, I think too. Um, Cause we're so used to just like asking everybody else for the answers, which is totally fine. Like that's what the chats are for. Like ask in the chat, ask on the page or wherever. But I mean, Google kind of helps us too. And on the chat, I love how they have the top part now where you could search. It's so much easier for us to search in those chats now, like the update with messenger, like you could search like silica and see what comes up. And I honestly, or like, let's say I'll search energy or libido or fibro or PCOS or whatever. And whatever comes up in a chat, I screenshot it. I'm like, well, this is what other people said about how it helps them with their PCOS. And I send them a screenshot of like what other people have described. Or, um, you know, if they ask about what's Delta eight, you know, I'll just type in Delta eight and see the conversations we had in the past, take a screenshot and send it to the person. Like, well, this is how it's helping other people. Um, so utilize that tool. Um, basically in the present presentation, when you're like presenting the products, I think it's just like your excitement, your confidence, your story is what's going to be important.
important. Like you're like Darnell was saying, like you, you explaining how it's helping you people buy off emotion, right? I feel like they, they buy off of, um, more stories than just straight facts. Like, yes, I think some facts are good to know, but most of the time they just want to know how it's going to help them. Like most of the time they don't even care what's in it. They're just like, I don't, I'm like, well, I don't care what's in it. If it's going to make me feel great. Awesome. It's got crack. Cool. Like I need that because my kids are psychotic, you know, uh, let's try it. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I don't do crack, but <laughs> if you tell me crack is in there, I'd probably still consider. <laughs> um, what else? I think that's it. That's kind of all I had for today. Um, we have like a couple minutes left. I know the next training is coming on for the company in about two minutes, but next week I'm excited because we're going to go over closing. Like, cause I think a lot of people have questions on this too. Like how do you close a sale? Um, I actually have a sheet that has 21 different ways to close. We don't have time for 21 different ways, but um, we'll talk about some of them. And then we're going to talk about, gosh, I might need to do these as two different Zooms because it's so much, but I'm going to try and fit it both. Um, I want to talk about covering objections, like role-playing. I'm going to have like someone ask me, a like tell me an objection, like, oh, well, it costs too much. And then I'm going to role-play how I would answer that. Or they're like, oh, I got to ask my husband or, and I'll role play how I answer that or um, whatever the other, I'm going to do a poll in the, the group too. Like, what are some objections that you guys get? Like, what are the main ones that you guys get? So that way we can have uh, those asked on the Zoom and do a role play to answer them. But thanks everybody for getting on and let's go have fun this week and make those reels and TikToks and um I don't know, just be a light in the world. People need positivity right now. So that's up to us to go shine the light bright to everybody. Okay, have a good night. Bye.